Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to come to you and give you just a couple of updates um, about some of the Omicron subvariants. Um, I saw in the news today where some of the news organizations were actually talking about BA2 again and some other sublineages, and it made me think, why, are, why is this kind of rearing its head? Because as we know, uh, many states throughout the country, um, honestly, schools, etc. You know, many schools are keeping the mask, but there are some schools not. Many states are cutting mask mandates, um, saying no mask, companies, etc. So um, it just kind of piqued my interest that in the midst of us decreasing the requirement of masks, I saw today on the news where they mentioned the sublineages uh, of Omicron. So this is going to just be a very quick update for you guys, just to give you heads up. This is really so that as we go further down the line and learn more about Omicron, BA2, and I've got more for you, that this does not sound unfamiliar, that you're like familiar with kind of what we're talking about. So, okay. So we know Omicron actually has like little cousins, basically, um, line sublineages, basically variants and variations. And the World Health Organization, one of the uh, leaders from the World Health Organization today um, said that there's actually a number of sublineages that the World Health Organization is tracking. That's in the title of this video. Um, I actually didn't realize there were so many, not just BA.1, but there's BA.1. There's BA 1.1, BA.1.1, something like that. Uh, so BA.1, BA.1.1, BA.2, and BA.3. There's actually almost like a family of sort of variants that the World Health Organization is tracking. And I think that that's really important just to kind of keep in mind so that if you ever hear any organization or whatever you hear, BA3, BA1.1, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, what is this? So this is something that the World Health Organization is already tracking. Um, we have known that, um, uh, of course, Omicron overtook Delta uh, in many parts of the world, even in the United States. Omicron is more transmissible than Delta, okay? Uh, but then what we've been concerned about more recently is BA2. I did a video on that in the last couple of weeks, um, kind of creeping up on BA1. Now, in many different countries throughout the world, BA2 is sort of overtaking BA1. That's a sublineage, just like a little cousin. And right now in the United States, I think cases are around like 4% or something. It's, it's low. But the question is, is that going to raise? Is that going to get higher or not? We suspect that BA2 is more transmissible than BA1, which by the way is a big deal because Omicron number one um, was actually pretty darn transmissible, remember? So if BA2 is even more transmissible, that's that's pretty transmissible. Um, but the question though is, is it going to be any more virulent? And if I remember correctly, like in the beginning of talking about BA2, I, I, I don't remember scientists and researchers thinking that it was necessarily going to be more virulent, but um, in the last 24 hours or so, there has been a study, um, I'm just going to pull this up, a study that has come out of, I believe, Japan, and it's a, basically a, uh, it's a preprint study um, on a server, which mainly means the study has not been peer-reviewed, it's not been fully vetted by researchers, etc., but it's not been published in a medical journal yet. But this is a study um, that is a lab study, so it's not a person-to-person, in-person study. Um, but it's a study that raises the questions of, number one, is BA2 actually more severe than BA1? Are we actually, in addition to dealing with um, more transmissible, are we actually dealing with more serious, more severe illness? Is that a thing? And um, it will, will some of our treatments and the ways we deal with Omicron, will, will BA2 respond the same way? In other words, this study has had some casting doubt on whether BA2 is just more transmissible. Some people are saying, well, gosh, maybe it is more highly virulent. Maybe it can sort of evade some of the systems we have in place to deal with Omicron, our therapeutics and things like that, our treatments. Um, you know, again, maybe it is more serious. Um, I think it's really important that we just kind of keep this in mind because I think we're going to hear more. There are no definitive answers right now. You guys know that. We have to sort of watch and wait. But the CDC has put BA2 on its online tracker. It has added that to its online tracker, so it's tracking it. And like I said uh, in the beginning of this video, World Health Organization is tracking BA.1, BA1.1, BA.2, and BA.3. 
there's a few different uh, sublineages that, that they're tracking. So the purpose of this video is number one, just to kind of keep you updated with the, the, the terminology and the language that we're talking about. It's not just a BA1 and a BA2. There's other lineages as well that the World Health Organization is tracking. Right here in the States, BA2 is a small percentage of cases, but we don't know if it's gonna go up. And especially now that we're rolling back mask mandates and you know, kind of things are lifting a little bit, the question will be, is this going to take off here? We don't know. We do think BA2 is more highly transmissible. The question is, is it more virulent? Um, will it be dealt with um, you know, well with our therapeutics or treatments? These are questions we have. So if you hear news reports about this, in the coming days or whatever, um, you know, hopefully this video will sort of help prime your mind to say, okay, wait, no, I heard Dr. Jen talking about something about this, blah, 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 blah. So it doesn't sound too unfamiliar. Do I think there's a reason to panic? No. I think what we need to do is just keep doing the things we know we need to do. Now we've had plenty of discussions about mask on versus mask off. So many of you are gonna keep your mask on. There are many of you also though that feel like masks can come off right now. Uh, this is a personal decision, honestly, at this point, because many p places have removed these mandates. Uh, Philadelphia just removed the COVID vaccine, proof of COVID vaccination mand uh, mandate in bars and restaurants. So this really becomes what you are comfortable doing um, on your own in, in many parts of the country where you live. Don't be freaked out. Just be thoughtful, be cautious. As I've always said, if you think you have symptoms of COVID, you should get yourself tested um, and just make sure that you're staying as safe as you possibly can. We have to wait and watch and watch and see. Uh, many of you guys are really great at like in my different groups, Healthy Living with Dr. Jen and in uh, the group I got the COVID vaccine. Make sure you join those, by the way. Many of you will post um, articles that you see coming up. If you see any articles on these sublineages, the BAs, BA2, 1.13, post them. I'll, I'll approve them and get them up so we can kind of keep keep up to date with what's going on. Um, just know the World Health Organization is tracking it because they think it's important enough to track. The question is the significance and how it will ultimately play out. But we have been um, fooled by variants before. I'm not saying we will this time. Let's hope that's not the case. We just have to be on guard. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's quick one tonight. Super, super quick. I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you guys for all the stars you sent. I'm going to go back and respond to you personally. And thank you so much. Make sure you join my groups, Healthy Living with Dr. Jen and Dr. Jen Superstars. And join my free health newsletter. You can subscribe at Dr. Jen. <laughs> I'm like, da, da, da. Dr. Jen um, I also have a YouTube channel. One of you were like, Dr. Jen, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, why? Well, yes, I do. Um, that's at Dr. Jen Coddle too. Everything, TikTok, all of it's there. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've not liked and followed this page, if you're new to me, welcome. It's great to see you. Just make sure you click like and follow so you can uh, you can get um, updates. Guys, you're amazing. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll be back tomorrow with more updates. Love you.